This is the plaintiff, Richard Kurpata. He says he rented his house to the defendants and they neglected it and it fell into disrepair. They didn't pay him his rent and then he sees the wife online at a fancy $300 a night resort eating filet mignon. If they have the money for that, then they can pay him the $4,999 they owe him. That's why he is suing. These are the defendants, Tammy Marquis and Mark Morganti. Tammy says the house was unlived in when they got there and it was overgrown and neglected to begin with. She tried to reason with the plaintiff about the condition of the house and he was rude and insulting to her. It got so bad she had to call the cops on the wacky guy. They owe nothing and they think the judge will agree. They're accused of not caring for a house. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Capato, you and Ms. Marquis work together, is that correct? That's correct. Do yes. you still work together? Yes. What kind of a place is it? What business is it? State uh, government, quasi public. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and what is your title? I'm, I'm an enforcement agent. I'm and regular. how about you? I'm an HR manager. Okay. All right, so at some point, Mr. Morganti, who is, is he your husband? Yes, he is. Um, had some kidney issues. Have you had the transplant? Yes, I did. You did, how did it go? You look good. For oh, <laughs> six weeks ago. Six weeks oh. ago? Okay. Uh, if you want to sit down, that'd be fine too. To. No, okay. No um, all right, so he was going to the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. You find out about that, and you happen to have a house in Jacksonville. So, what is your offer to her? That she could stay at my, my dad passed away five years ago, and so I'm responsible for the house through the trust, and it was empty, um, and I offered her to stay there with the understanding that they would take care of the house, both inside and out. All right, so you tell her about it, and what's the agreement? To cover my expenses, which are $500 a month, and that's insurance, taxes, community fees, and security. And then she, um, the additional is uh, cable, electrical, and water. All right, now you dispute that that was the agreement, correct? Yes. According to you, what did he say? He just brushed it off. When I asked him how much he wanted for rent, he sort of brushed it off and-, and What has brushed it off? Uh, just, you know. Don't worry about it. So were you under the impression he was being kind yes, and he wasn't? Okay. absolutely. And that you, all you had to do was pay your own utilities? Well, we offered to pay the utilities. And, well, you should. It's your yep, utilities. Absolutely. And, and uh, according to him, maintain the house? Uh, yes. Okay. So now when you, uh, did you move down there too or did you stay? No, I did not. My all husband right. did. So you go down. You, I presume you go down with him the first time. The first time, yeah. Right? And what condition was the house in? The interior was very nice. The exterior, um, a little overrun. A bit overrun. All right. Did you take pictures of it at all when you Not got there? Not when we got there. No. Didn't think to. I do have a video of my phone on my phone though of about two weeks. Now about two to three weeks after he got there that he sent me. Do you have that? I absolutely do have it. Is this it? Is that it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Obviously, you can see that the gutters have not been maintained. And there you can see the flower beds and all of the leaves that are in the flower beds. Right, but wasn't that exactly why he wanted you guys to be there? Didn't you used to work in landscaping? Well, I agreed to do, you know, occasional maintenance when I, I felt up to it. Um, you know, obviously I had I'm not dialysis. sure that, that was the agreement, though. I mean, if you can't do I it, said then... Light I said, hold on one second, sorry. one second. If you can't do it, which is totally understandable, then the idea is that you pay somebody to do it. That well, was kind it, of the quid pro quo, wasn't it? Well, that's well, not, not... I said light maintenance when I can do it. It wasn't like... Okay, couldn't well, what do maintenance anything. did you do? Took I did the front. The I didn't get to the back because it does a scre uh, screen in porch in a way. Okay, and you have several complaints. What are your complaints about the way they... Um, what they did or didn't do on the outside of the house? Yeah, I had friends stop through there um, the end of December, and they... Well, you had, did more than that. You had friends stay there, right? Yes, at the end of December. Right. So if they're supposed to be paying you $500 in rent, what right do you have to, to have your friends that they don't know stay in the house that they're in? But that was part of the agreement 
beforehand if oh, somebody... Did you guys have anything in writing? No. Oh, so you you say tomato and you say tomato? Yes. Not even. You say tomato and you say potato. <laughs> That's what we've got going on here. And um, according to you, he never said anything about the $500 at the beginning. And you moved down there when? Um, right after Thanksgiving. 26th of November. 26th of November, but then I did okay. come home for the holidays okay. and went back So home. in... Uh, when you gave, I guess the utilities were going in your name to your place, and then you would give them to her to pay, and then she would pay them. And that happened in November, December, January, February, March, and April. Did you ever say, where's my $500 a month? Yes. When? October 21st. Okay, yeah, that I want to see. Hi, Tammy. Monthly costs when I am there, including heating, AC, water, electricity, and basic cable is $500 a month. That's interesting, actually. So that's you telling her that AC, water, electricity, and basic cable will expenses, monthly costs, including heating, AC, water, electricity, and basic cable is $500 a month. Yeah, excluding utilities, $500 a month. That's not what you said. Including utilities is what you said. It's the exact opposite of what you're arguing in this lawsuit. So you're suing for $3,000 and unpaid $500 a month from November to April. The next thing you're suing for is June and July electric bill. Can I see that? Did you pay June and July electric bill? No, I paid uh, when I paid the May and the June. Is it your impression that that's supposed to cover all the expenses? Yes. Okay. So... You have several complaints about the way that they were taking care of the property. Tell me about that, or uh, not taking care of it. They, they brought in three dogs. Um, the first dog was right away in December, and um, rescue dogs to keep them company. And I had we had to repaint the lanai. The, the screens on the lanai, 12 screens need to be replaced because of the dog pushing pushing out on the screens. You're, all, you're suing for $225 to repair the lanai screens. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, it came out to more than that. OK, can I see the proof of the damage to the lanai screens? I'm sorry, do you have anything better than this? How am I, I supposed don't. to see the damage in this? Yeah, that's the best I have. You can still see uh, on the bottoms of the screens where the dog pushed out well, I don't know. I can't see that the dog pushed something. I can see that there's ripped screens. What's the deal with the ripped screens? I'm not sure what you're looking at. Okay. I recall the one by the door, and that was, you know, worn out. Um, and I'm not sure where this is or where You know, this whenever is. You, you get to a place that you are renting for zero or renting for 500 or renting for 10,000, you should always take pictures of how the place looks. And whenever people new come into a place you own, you should always take pictures of how the place looks because it becomes this, this uh, swearing match between right. the parties of how things looked and how they didn't. So you express your frustration in an email that is dated May 10th. You also mentioned several times a conflict with the, with the Florida home. I don't know where that comes from. What's that about? That's our place of employment. Meaning well, because, well, because you work because together? I, yeah, well, because I'm in HR, so. Yeah, you shouldn't be taking the free house. Oh, no, you know, I, I, I mean, it was I, a good deal. Well, I, I had it. Um, did you get in trouble for that? No, I did not. I you actually, told them I about got it. it I, absolutely, I actually got it cleared with the state. Oh well, then that's why was it? Why is it a problem? Oh, because no, as an HR manager, I wasn't handling any of his HR issues. Right. Those, we have five people in HR, so I was having that. Anything that needed. Was to, he having an HR issue? He was. And then he expected that you would be in charge of it. I be involved in it. I'm not sure. I don't I know where that comes from. But when I go to HR for something and you tell me you won't get involved, this is also something I didn't sign up for. Apparently, it cost me 500 a month in base expenses to keep the house. I've mentioned that to you before. It's perhaps better for the both of you if you find a room at the Y. It would be something you could handle. This arrangement is more than you can handle. It came with responsibilities. And I have been relaxed and watching over this. The free ride on me is over. You were kind of surprised by this, right? Absolutely. I was shocked and upset. You respond to it, though, 12 days later. 
You remind him that you asked how much do you want for the house and that he brushed it off as if he didn't want anything. And you thought, what a kind person. You asked him how much the expenses usually were and he said about 500. And then you settled on that he would send you the bills and you'd pay them, which is exactly how it went November, December, January, February, March, and April. You, I thought you understood and accepted his limitations. All right. So how long total were you there? I stayed until right after the 4th of July. Now, when he left, you paid someone to clean up outside, you say. How much did you pay? $330. OK, so really, our argument is over $330, isn't it? That's what our argument the thing that told you to, t to tell the kidney patient to go to the Y was over $330, because that's what you paid to have it up to par. Now, let me ask you a question. I'm looking at texts yeah. and emails, and it appears that some hidden cameras were installed in the place. Not hidden. Not hidden cameras. Okay. There, we were aware of cameras in the, in the home. Where were the cameras? Um, they were, there was two in the living room, one in the den, and one in the garage. They all faced entryways which I understood, there's security cameras. So we were aware that there were cameras in the home. What we weren't aware of was the fact that they were running because- What do you mean? That they were working because when uh, we went down there in November, he gave me a security console and he asked me to hook it up for him because it, the one that was there was not working because his, we believe he said his brother's wife wasn't comfortable with them, so he had unhooked them. So he asked me to hook up this new security console. I didn't do it. I didn't know how to do it. I'm not very that techy. Did so. you ever let him? I guess he knew no. because he couldn't see him. Right. No, I never. So that, so I don't think I ever told him when that When did we they didn't. get hooked up? We don't know. When did they get hooked the up? The end of December. So then the person who was staying there also hooked up the cameras? Did you ever let them know they were being watched yes. by you? No, he didn't. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Is it an invasion of privacy to uh, put a camera in an apartment that you rent to somebody? Absolutely. Because, you know, it's your apartment. Well, but as a renter, you'd have certain rights, I would think, and one of them would not be, you know, being, a, you know, watched by your landlord. What if they say, we want it for security to make sure nothing bad happens in the apartment? Doesn't matter. It's your privacy. Landlord has no business doing that. And finally? I would say, uh, no. Okay, that's short and sweet, going inside the courtroom. The cameras have like a red light, and there's a- No, th my question was, did you ever let them know that yes. you had hooked up the camera? How did you let them know? Uh, through a conversation that the camera- Is there anything in writing? No. June 15th, please make sure that when you have the professional cleaning done, they steam clean the living room set. Ask your husband what he was doing about 10 a.m. this morning on my sofa, butt naked. <laughs> She answers, now you have someone spying? I do believe that may be another violation of my husband's rights. As for your, and for your information, my husband does not walk around butt naked. Pretty sure he had a pair of shorts on. To which you respond, I have it on video. Welcome to the 21st century, on video recorded. What did you record? It's always recording, it's a loop. <clears throat> do you have any proof that you let them know that this was being recorded? I, I don't accept for... Um, because I gotta tell you, you know, he has a God-given right <laughs> to some privacy in his place. What gives you the right to not only tape their lives without them knowing, but to record it, take a picture of it? Like, what are you thinking? This is insanity. You have, you can't tape people without them knowing. They knew it. No, they didn't. The thing wasn't working. The and then someone in December hooked it up. You think he knew it? I'm pretty sure he didn't. I'm pretty sure the man thought. I think it's pretty evident that he thought it wasn't working. Okay, because you think he would have been doing that in the living room if he thought that the camera in the living room was working? You're out of your mind. I gotta tell you. I was ready to sit here and do some math and figure out, look, guys, you know, that's your responsibility. You have to do that. You know, but I'm, I'm ready to do a set off on the violation of your privacy because I really don't think that that's okay.
So no amount of math is really necessary on my behalf. You didn't counterclaim against him for the violation, but I would find it certainly in excess of whatever the leaves cost to remove that made him nuts. I'm not stupid. I don't think it was the leaves. I don't think it was the gutters. I think it was the fact that you recuse yourself from an HR issue he had. He thought that he would have some help from you in doing that. That's what I think, because the very first email when he goes nuts mentions it. That's what probably happened. But based on what I've heard, I am ordering you to pay him zero. Thank you. Well, the judge has found against the plaintiff, Mr. Yes. Caprata. What you're smiling away, but what are you thinking about right now? I think it's a shame that when he helps somebody and they don't take care of their end of the bargain and um, the house is a mess. What do you think about what the judge says about your having the, the cameras running all the time? Yeah, every, and observing yeah. you know, what was going on. Yeah. Everybody that's gone down there knows that there's cameras. So. All right. Good enough. Thank you very much. That's it. Okay, you don't get any money. The defendants are on their way out of the courtroom right now. Well, that's it, I guess. You were being sued. You don't have to pay anything. You feel no. better now? Um, I feel vindicated. I mean, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to show them the evidence that I had, the photo evidence that I had of the property, and it definitely was in A1 condition when we left. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You must sign some documents. Okay. And Harvey... What do you think? I got to say, given what's going on in the world right now with cameras, I think it's an important thing to put in the lease that you put there will be no cameras inside the unit that you rent.